my name is Rapsony. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! The Jewels of the Roses. Alright, I'm going to actually quickly go into the deck. And the reason I'm going to be going into the deck and checking out my deck, A, A, B, nice, um, is because I think I've got another re- I totally do have another reincarnation. Excellent. And if I reincarnate and I get Yami, I'm going to be the happiest man. Alright, Vermillion Sparrow seems good. Alright, get out of my life. What's that? Uh, Toon something, Toon Mermaid. Ooh, warrior. Yeah, of tradition. And Celtic Guardian. Fuck. Those are all pretty bad. I don't fucking enjoy having them in my deck. Um, alright, so I need to tank my deck cost, like, really badly. So, usually the start targets for that are very powerful spells. Yami and Wasteland are going to be so fucking important in this match, I can't actually take them out. Yoranzo can get the fuck out of my life. I guess I can take the Patrician of Darkness out as well. Oh, no. I think I actually have to take out one of the Pumpkins in order to tank my cost enough. Do I have to take out fucking two of the Pumpkins? Are you kidding me? And the Great Mammoth of Goldfine. Okay. Seriously, that's, that's really bad. Okay. Put in as many Fake Traps as possible. Put in as many power-ups as possible. Violet Crystal, already have the amount of those as I possibly can have in. Kunai with Chain is for warriors and stuff like that. When flipped up, Spellbinds opposing power. You know what, that sounds pretty good actually. Also, it survives on crushed terrain, which is actually really important. Um, I'm looking for cards that survive on crushed terrain and don't have horrible stats. Dimension Hall is actually pretty bad, why would I put that in my deck? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I just have to put trash in now. Doop. Doop. Do. This actually might still be too much. Oh, God. I can't believe I had to take two pumpkins out of my deck. Oh, we're still too high. You're kidding me. Bakora is annoying to verse, just because you have to make so large an adjustment to your deck. Just to verse him, and then you've got to change it back afterwards. Infinite Dismissal can get out of my life. Um, and I will replace it with... Elegant Egotist. Are you fucking kidding me? I think I'm actually still too high. I think it's like 747. Hang on. 757! Seven, seven. Oh, we can do it! So you're the one they call the Rolls Duelist. I am Bakora, a Breton card warrior. There was once a time when people knew me as Jack Cade of Mortimer. You stand on Celt soil where the card dueling has been passed on for generations. In particular, my family has mastered the arts of the Dark Duel. Shall we begin? Alright, Bakura, whatever, man. This will actually be a really good way. I think uh, my opponent uses, like, mostly low-powered plant cards. This is going to be a really good uh, way for me to get some power in my deck. Uh, Minamushi Warrior. That's going to be a pretty good starter. I'm going to have to probably stick the Minamushi Warrior just... LP recovery. Destroy specific enemy type. Ah. Mm. It appears that my opponent destroys every opponent. Oh no. Every turn they regain 50. It seems my opponent destroys every opponent. Um. Wait, wait a second, just while I figure out my life. Every opponent rock creature. Like, instantly just destroys them. Whenever they're in, I imagine, your support range. 
I, hmm, I don't think I've ever actually had to do this battle for long. Like, I think I just immediately crushed my opponent last time I did it, so... Kind of surprising to me. Oh, thank god. Okay, tentacle plant. That's one that I want to get. We might actually burst this person multiple times just to get all of the cards we can from them. I'll put the Great Mammoth of Goldfine in this place. <clears throat> Buff it up as well. So it's going to be basically my Outrunner. And when I say Outrunner, I mean it's going to be there uh, on the outskirts of the battle, right up until the point that I cast a Wasteland or Yami, in which case it will immediately come out and fight the battle. <clears throat> Be wasteland. That's a Yami. Okay, I'm gonna move here. Cast Yami here, but I'm gonna cast it under both of these. So there goes a Yami card. Excellent. Transform. That's just to get as much of the effective terrain as possible. I think you need to kill this. Yeah, it's dead. What? 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 Did it? What? What did you do? Control of the opposing card is gained when the... Is that... Is this yours now? Is that yours now? Control of the opposing card is... Do you have my card now? Did you take my card? Yep, you totally did. Now I have to kill it. <sighs> Thanks, Obama. Hey, at the very least, I didn't uh, use the laughing... Uh, sorry, I didn't use the Great Mouth of Goldfine to try and kill the Laughing Flower. That would have been embarrassing. Alright, the Laughing Flower is going to get a thousand damage on me. But if it gets a thousand damage on me, it has to accept that I'm going to do 2200 damage to the opponent. Okay, 900 damage. Fine, good work. You did 900 damage to me. Very powerful, uh, very powerful attack there. Now I can do 2200 damage to my opponent. So I'm just gonna do that. I mean, that seems good for me. Seems ultimately like I got the benefit there. And yes, I'm just going to try and kill as many things as I can. Because as many plants as I can put in that graveyard, I'll take all of them. I might even fight this guy a second time just to get more plants. Okay, wastelands. I'm just going to slowly creep up. Excellent. This is pretty much over. Especially since it's Wasteland. This is going to make all of my opponent's plant cards so much less powerful. You attack that. Leogan. That's actually a really powerful card, Leogan. Well, now it's a really dead card, so that's good. Great Mouth of Goldfine. Ancient Tree of Enlightenment. Oh, that's one of the cards that you can get by the endgame codes. And it's one of the ones I was debating getting because it's a good way to create... Oh! It's a good way to create the Pumpkin. Speaking of... Hello, Pumpkin. Oh, Bean Soldier. Goodbye, Bean Soldier. Oh... Uh. Yeah, this is pretty much over. In fact, I think I will do this battle twice. I love that my opponent just destroyed one of their own cards as well. 
I think you get more experience when you surround an opponent than when you kill them, so I may just... Yep, especially since that's fire grass. Yep, I think I'm just gonna surround you. End of game. We win! Yay! No promotion, damn. Let's get as many, uh, I want to try and get three different plants here. So, there's like a plant section after Lee again. That's a plant. That's a plant. That's the same plant, damn it. Only got two plants. That's an unfortunate one. You know what, I won't fight it again. I think if I just power back up my deck, I'm gonna win. No! No way! I warn you, your next field of battle will be your last. Prepare to meet your maker. Obtained the second to last rose card. Excellent. And... Here's Yugi. Breast. <laughs> yeah. Yugi. Alright. Uh, wait, we should probably actually quickly take a look at Yugi's deck cost. I think it's uh, 1k, but I think it's 1031 if I remember correctly? No, 12k. Shit. Alright, let's splurge. Let's get some mad cards up in our deck, yo. Okay, take that out, that out. <laughs> Just gonna take out all the trash. Now, in terms of DC, I want to put him back back in the higher stuff that I removed. Oh, a monster reborn. Might as well. Pumpkin. Shadow spell. Why not? Great Mammoth of Goldfine. Welcome back. Patrician of Darkness. How about another one? Shattered, uh, Shadow Ghoul. That's a pretty good one, too. Uh, I already took out... Yeah, I took out Yoranzo, didn't I? I want to put Yoranzo back in. Okay. Let's think about our combo elements. If Kage Musha gets out of my deck, and Phantom Day One does, Mammoth Graveyard stays though. Dimension Hall gets out of my deck. Skull Stalker, Stone Ghost, I need to remove all of the stone stuff, definitely. Okay, that's gonna make space for a lot of the type sorts. Uh, it's going to make space for a lot of the new plants, Maneater. All cards, when this card is flipped face up, all cards on forest terrain are destroyed. Holy shit. That's pretty good. Okay, so I've got five spaces now. Yoranzo, get in my deck. else. Infinite Dismissal. Shadow of Eyes does not go in my deck, though. Anthrosaurus. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Kunai with Chain. Uzaki. Violet Crystal's got enough of you in my deck. Okay, that that, that, that looks pretty pretty solid. Okay, now we're gonna pad it out with some other cards. Two Dimension Halls. No, one Dimension Hall. How about I put a... Put a Dark Magician in there? I mean, it'll be good on Yami terrain. Maybe. This would be good on Yami terrain as well. Blocker, Zanki, no, Spirit of the Books, Celtic Guardian. None of these are particularly um, enticing. Oh, hey, we filled our deck. Yes. Excellent. Oh, no. We missed 420. It was four minutes ago. <sighs> Blaze it sadly. Okay, Yugi. So you finally come to face me, duelist. I hope you're as good as they say, because the better the duelist, the better my game. Oh, excellent. So my opponent is one of the kind of like Wing Chun, like Aikido masters, where they use your strength against you. The better the duelist, the better his game. Excellent. So we we need to win by being a horrible duelist. <laughs> that's... Yeah, there's Labyrinth directly in front of us. That's, that's good. Trash, trash, trash. 
Oh, look at that. 100, 100. Okay, my opponent has merged two cards behind that terrain. Excellent work to them. Hmm. Boop, boop. Welcome to the battlefield, pumpkin number one. <laughs> It's so appealing, I've got this feeling, my cellular, bananular foe. So they moved Torik with a Magician of Faith. Huh. I did not know that had a combo. Excellent. Well, I'm going to cast a Great Mammoth of Goldfine with a Violet Crystal next turn, so I'm going to do nothing this turn. I'll also use that to trash the, uh, other one, whatever it is. Phantom Ghost, there we go, that's going to get trashed. Excellent, this seems correct. Power up my Great Mammoth of Gold for now. Move it there. Oh, baby, spellbinding circle. So it gets decreased by, I believe, 1,000 or 800 or something? What's the spellbinding circle do exactly? Disposable trap that spellbinds activated enemy cards for three turns and reduces my 600. Okay. I can understand 600. Hey, it'll get 300 back by the time it is unspellbound, thanks to the pumpkin, so... And that's if I only have one pumpkin. If I get another pumpkin, we'll get more. Yeah, good work. Goodbye, Nekogal. Boom. Excellent. I am safe enough to move up here. Alright, that's fine. Move that there. I mean, it's just gonna get powered up, I guess. <sighs> My opponent keeps, like, milling their cards out. Like, not milling their cards out, but like, running them all out along like a conveyor belt along this way. It's not gonna help you. I'm gonna move around the other way. And I'll put Shadow Spell there, so if that is an offensive card and it wants to go after anything, it won't. That just won't do. Goodbye, Giant Soldier of Stone. Did my uh, opponent's hero stop moving? Like, did their deck leader solidify their spot? Oh, they just did. Really? A oh, paralyzing potion. <laughs> so... Just interesting uh, to note, the Paralyzing Potion uh, sp spellbinds a target infinitely. All machine, all uh, monsters other than machine are rendered eternally spellbound. But it got spellbound, so now my Great Mammoth of Goldfine is going to be able to run away. <sighs> That's interesting. Okay, I can get 800 damage in here. 1800, sorry. I'm going to move across. I'll trash that and I'll summon the Patrician of Darkness on this space. So if I lose the Dragon Zombie, my opponent's going to have to put a card into attack position to kill it. Which means that I'm going to be able to use the Great Mammoth of Goldfine to kill whatever that was. And then I win the game because the attack differential would be so high. Oh. Or I could just win instantly. <laughs> well played, Yugi Moto. Yugi boy. You win! Yeah!
We did it! Alright. Oh, we totally can get the Dark Magician. I was just lying, apparently, last time when I said you can't. I want to get the Spellbinding Circle, though. Got it. I want to get another one. Nope. I want to get another one, though. Yeah, got it. If I had have gotten three of them in a row, I probably could have gotten a really good card. Because Spellbinding Circle, I believe, is like 43 or 40 deck cost. I lose. Know you this. Although the rose cards are lost to me, I shall not falter from my cause. On the graves of my Celtic ancestors, I swear that I will one day rule over all of England. That's it. Now we've done. You now have all the rose cards. It's time to head for Stonehenge. If his voice has changed since last episode, it's because it's been like half a week since I recorded last episode, so... I don't fucking no clue what his voice was. The ritual is complete. The power, the world, with the power of the cards behind us, all will be ours for the taking. The time has come to realize the dreams of my ancestors. Yeah, it's Mawadadan Fablir. The Card Guardian. Long have I waited for this day. You are the ones responsible for this. First, you dare to summon my sleeping brother from his eternal resting place in the sands of Egypt, using him duel after duel. And then you dare to seal him away again? Unforgivable. Looks like I failed again. Hold your tongue. There's no room for excuses. Nothing escapes my eyes. I demand justice. I shall feed on one, on you and your kind. On every last one of you who exists on this miserable planet. Miserable planet. It's up to you, duelist. This evil that's awakened can only be led to rest by you. Only by defeating this vile creature will you be able to undo the summoning. You literally just fucking summoned him. At least, that's what the legends say. Quiet, mortal. It is time to avenge my brother. It's time to avenge my brother, fool. Um, we've already made the most powerful deck that we currently can. So next episode... Oh, that's right. I'm, I'm an absolute dick. I'm going to cut this to another episode. Next episode, we're going to face Manawadim Flablir. <clears throat> I think that's his name. Something. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like and tell them to get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Jewelers of the Roses content, past, present, and future. And hopefully we'll see you next time.